Okay, testing? All right, welcome to the video. So here we're looking at a, a probability question involving a normal curve. So we've got a normal distribution with mean 6.8, standard deviation 1.6, and they're drawing, sketching in the density curve above the histogram there, and they're saying, well, we're going to call a random variable x to describe a stu student chosen at random. And they want to know that if they choose a student at random from among all those who took the test, What's the probability that the student chosen at random has a score of 4.3 or higher? So first, let's incorporate this number 4.3 into the picture. If we look down here on our horizontal axis, we can see the number 4 right here. So there's a score of 4. So we want to know what percent of students are scoring at 4 or above. So if we sketch that into our picture, let's use some red here, but we're really saying, okay, 4.3, somewhere a little above 4. Oh, that's not a pen. Let's try again. So somewhere a little above 4, and we want to go all the way over from there. So all the area under the curve, and this is kind of a messy coloring in, but you get the idea, right? We're going to color all the area under that curve from 4.3 to forever. And so now we want to say, well, well, let's think about some things here. So they're asking for a probability, but we want to keep in mind we can calculate probabilities by thinking about what proportion of the total area under the density curve is covered by that event. So we want to know, we know the total area under the curve is 1, so what is this area in red? Well, we have some calculator commands that we learned uh, back in Chapter 3 that are going to help us out here. So to calculate the area under the curve from 4.3 to infinity, we can use that command normal CDF. So let's go ahead and do that. So to calculate that, we can use norm CDF. Remember, we're going to put in our left-hand boundary, which is 4.3, and then our right-hand boundary, it goes to infinity. Our calculator doesn't have an infinity key, so we use 1E9 for our purposes. And then we have to put in the mean, which is 6.8, and the standard deviation, which is 1.6. So let's go ahead and do that on our calculator. So we do second VARS, choose option 2 for norm CDF, and we're going to put in 4.3, 1E9, 6.8, 1.6, and we hit enter, and the answer I get there is 0.9409. This is telling us about 94% of the area is to the right of 4.3, and interpreting that in terms of our problem, it means if we choose a student at random, there's a 94.09% chance that the student we chose at random would have a score of 4.3 or higher. When we enter that in WAMAP, notice they're asking for a percentage. So when we enter that percent, we want to make sure to multiply by 100. So it would be 94.9% would be the, oh, sorry, 94.09%.